third video. You know, I had went, I exceeded the time a little bit in the last video, so I hope it go up. If not, I might have to chop it up in a couple, make it two videos, so it may end up being the fourth video, just so everybody will know. All right, okay. but we are gonna keep it moving. Twenty chapter six. With uh, Exodus twenty chapter six, uh, chapter twenty verse six. Okay. And showing mercy unto the thousand generations of them that love me and keep my commandments. All right. So we're gonna stop right there. So the Most High say, but showing kin kindness for the thousands of of generations. To those who love me and observe my commandments. Now check it out. Where it say that at? In the Hebrew. Right? So check it out. Alright. I'm gonna just show you right here. Uh La la tash tasha La Tosha Torah Right? So we gotta keep the Torah. Know what I'm saying? So we're talking about keeping the laws and the commandments. You must understand that the Torah it, it tells us that we gotta keep the Torah. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what the Torah is saying, actually. Because I ain't saying it. I'm just nearly showing you what the Torah says. So the Torah is showing you that you keep the Torah. Yeah. Right? So it's Tasha, Tas, Torah. Which is La, La, La Tas, Torah. Which is keep the Torah. All right? But we're going to keep it moving. We at seven. Verse, yeah, verse, verse seven. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will, will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Oh, uh, see that? So how is his name not important if he's telling you not to... Not to uh, not to uh, take his name in vain. He said, "You shall not take the name of Hashem your God in vain, for Hashem not will not absolve anyone who takes his name in vain." So you cannot call on these other gods. You putting his name, taking his name in vain. Know what I'm saying? He say he will not give his glory to another. You understand? So, if he's not going to give his glory to another, therefore, you must call upon Hashem. Uh, the Most High Yahweh says that uh, he told Moses, he said, go to Moses, he said, tell Pharaoh to let my people go so that they can serve me, you know what I'm saying, and call upon my name. Yep. You know what I mean? So, how can we not, you know what I'm saying, keep his name you know what I'm saying? And call to call upon, but we call upon all these other names, which makes yourself, which makes you worship into idols, because you call into foreign names, into gods that's not the god of your father. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna uh, keep it going. We at verse eight. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Six days shall thy labor. And do all thy work. But on the seventh day is the Sabbath day unto the is the Sabbath unto the Lord thy God. It it shall not do any manner of work, thy nor thy sons, nor thy daughters, nor thy man servants, nor thy maid servants, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Eleven. Relax. Now check it out, Israel. The Most High, He say, "Remember the Sabbath, right?" So, when you remember the Sabbath, 
you got to remember what is the Sabbath, right? The, the Sabbath is the only day that the Most High hallowed and He blessed. The only day the Most High hallowed and He blessed. Yet, what is we doing on these Saturdays? What is we doing? Do we hallow it and keep it holy until Yahweh? Or what is we doing, people? So, obviously, if we're not hollowing it and keeping it holy to the Most High Yahweh, we we take we uh we we, we taking place. You know what I'm saying? We we acting in wickedness in the things that we call fun, but we acting in a corrupt way of living in a corrupted society. But we think it's fun. You know what I'm saying? It's not fun. It's wickedness. You know, uh, the most I say, remember the Sabbath. He say, sanctify. He say, six days shall you do work and accomplish all your work. But the Sabbath day is, is the Sabbath unto Hashem, your Elohim. You know what I'm saying? Unto Yahweh, your God, your power. And it, you shall do no work. You know what I'm saying? And you must hollow it. So that don't mean go out here and start doing this. Getting wasted. Because that's not hollowing the Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? According to the Torah. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to realize we're not keeping ten commandments. We're keeping the Torah. You know what I'm saying? We're keeping the Torah. It's not ten commandments. The Torah. Check it out. We're going to keep it moving. For in six days the Lord made heavens and earth the sea, and all that's in them is, and rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the seventh day and hallowed, hallowed it. All right, hold on right quick. 